Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Shand Jam's vlogs. Starting a little bit later today because I've been to the hospital to get another little checkup of the baby. He's absolutely fine, got a strong heartbeat as always, which is good. We like to hear that when you're preggers because, you know, <laughs> I know new mums and pregnant women can get a bit paranoid about the children's health and safety and all that. So, yeah, it's just nice to have you put your mind at ease when they tell you that everything's all good. So, anyway, let's get started with the day. Well, the afternoon now. I've already had my lunch. Me and James had a cheeky subway, which is a bit naughty. And um, I've got a new little gimbal, <laughs> which James got me which I am buzzing about. And you'll have to tell me if it's making any difference. Let me know if my kind of video and style looks a bit different to my old vlogs. Um, but it's called Osmo Mobile 6. It's that one. Um, but I think it's like one of the best ones you can get, to be honest, it seems like it anyway, from what I've experienced so far. Because I did have another one, but I think this one does a little bit more than my last one. Because you can like connect it through an app and stuff and Bluetooth and all that. And you can actually press play and pause through your hand thing on the actual gimbal rather than your phone. So rather than me pointing and clicking that, I can just straight away click it on the gimbal, which is cool. And um, it face tracks, it tracks your face. So wherever I go, it kind of points towards my face, which is cool. Anyway, <laughs> enough about my gimbal, which I'm buzzing about. <laughs> Look at this. I got a Tesco fake tree <laughs> to put in the front room. Now, obviously you've seen in my last vlog, I've got a Christmas tree already, which I put up and then I've actually put some nice little fairy lights along the side here where the fish tank is so i'll show you that at night time when it's all lit up and um, but yeah so i've got a christmas tree in there and i'm gonna put a christmas tree in here as well so let's get cracking Tesco get the Tesco club card because you get stuff like money off stuff and you can collect points and stuff it's really good if you always go to Tesco anyway I, I thought I didn't think it would be that nice but it's actually it actually looks all right I quite like it it just obviously needs some decorations on it now which I've not got I have got baubles so all I need to get is like a few thin strips of tinsel I think and um, so I might go shopping now and just see if I can find some tinsel I like them quite simple and just basic <laughs> Basic tree for a basic bitch. So yeah, let's go do that. How weird's that? I think this app that I'm using for my new gimbal is connected to my car microphone. <laughs> That's crazy. Because it's up on my screen in the car. That's so weird. So I wonder if the, what it sounds like. Let's check. I've disconnected it because I didn't like the sound of it. I'll probably be able to tell the difference when I listen to it, when I edit this video back. Um, but now I didn't, I didn't like the microphone coming from the, from coming from the car, <laughs> or the sound coming from the car. Just headed to the shops now to get some tinsel and a few bits and bobs. The day has been a bit um, up and down today, actually. It was raining a little bit. I did walk to the hospital because I wanted the exercise, and then James picked me up because um, he was on his lunch break by the time I came out so he picked me up and then we just went for a little subway and yeah came back home and then that's when I started messing with my gimbal because he literally got it today which is lovely of him thanks babe love you very much get to up that video quality now <laughs> hope you enjoy <laughs> I'll have to like get proper get used to it first then I'll come become a little pro at uh, using the gimbal I love that word gimbal it's just really fun to say. Say it, gimbal. 
<laughs> I would love to know as well what your plans are for Christmas. Because obviously I know people do all sorts of different things at Christmas, don't they? Like some people have like all the family round, do like a family bingo, or some people have a nice big feast and like nice and nice puddings at the end. Some people go out and have dinner. Some people go and party and get drunk. But yeah, I'd like to know what other people do, to be honest, and if, if you do anything different, um, let me know. Give me a little message if you want to let me know what you do at Christmas uh, or what traditions you've got, or just put it in the comments below. So me and James have actually booked um, not for Christmas, just as a little getaway before we have the baby because it'll be our kind of last holiday before the baby comes. We're going to the Peak District, which will be very nice. I'm excited. I think the place or... Bloody hell, I'm close to that car there. Jesus Christ. That was close, that. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Um, what was I saying? Uh, Ashbourne is the place that we're actually going, Ashbourne. Um, so that'll be lovely to see what it's like there. See a bit of countryside. And also nip to a few of the towns and do a little bit of shopping maybe or go for lunch or tea or breakfast or whatever we decide to do really. I, I think I might look up um, what's in Ashbourne or what's around that area um, or let me know if you if you've ever been to the peak district around ashbourne areas and let me know if there's anywhere like nice to go that i can do because i've been looking at stuff and it, there was one that said you could do quad bikes <laughs> and obviously because i'm pregnant i can't do anything like that uh, i did say to james oh i'll still do it i'll just be careful and he's like no <laughs> i was like yeah fair enough I do need to be careful because it's getting later on in the pregnancy now, so I, pr I probably won't be won't be good doing stuff like that, quad biking and stuff <laughs> in the countryside. But it was worth it was worth a shot. Anyway, let's go and see if we can get some tinsel first. Ended up picking up um, other stuff that I didn't come for. <laughs> oh well, I've got a brolly just in case it rains. <laughs> while I'm doing my walk, my daily uh, exercise. I can't believe how much the Christmas stuff Green Em does. And it's all like different colours as well. So you've gone for like a pink vibe, they've got pink. You've gone for a red and green vibe, they've got red and green. They've got silver down there. It's very nice. Where the bloody hell's the tinsel though? That's what I'm looking for. There we go. Ooh. Hmm. I want to get one that looks like quite good quality. <laughs> Not the best quality tinsel in here, I don't think. Like compared to the other one I've got on the other Christmas tree. But it'll probably do because it's quite a thin tree, the one that I'm just trying to buy for. So do I get it? Yeah. Oh, what's that? Mince pies. See, I want to try and make my own mince pies. So I'll have to get a recipe for one. But yeah. If you've not been to Marks and Spencers before, <laughs> you might not know, but they do loads of Percy Pig stuff and uh, Colin the Caterpillar. If you've never tried one, try one. They're nice. Oh, there they are. <laughs> there he is starting to get super busy and I hate it when there's just too many people around because everyone just gets in the way and then I get in the way and you just ends up being a bit ditzy <laughs> and then getting a bit stressed because there's just too many people um I do anyway I don't know about you let me know if you uh if you ever feel like that when you go shopping somewhere like do you get a bit <laughs> a bit aggy when it starts getting busy and there's people like running around shopping and you're trying to get past and squeeze past people and yeah it just gets a bit stressful doesn't it like busy times because i think it is peak time now because the schools are uh, finishing and stuff aren't they why is he coming around the roundabout in the wrong lane so is he what are these people doing <laughs> road rage road rage 
the police are behind me. I better, uh, I better stop recording. <laughs> Wait, can you get stopped by the police for recording yourself in a car? I don't think that's illegal, is it? I don't think this... Yeah, that's not illegal. Like, vlogging in your car. Oh, it's a learner, a police driver. All right, he might let me off. <laughs> I'm saying it as if I'm doing something dead illegal or something. I'm literally just vlogging in my car. <laughs> He's gone now. <laughs> I can relax. <laughs> does anyone ever? Does anyone else get like that when when there's police driving behind you? Even though you're doing absolutely nothing, you're like, oh my god, they're following me. <laughs> I've done something. Does anyone else get like that? By the way, like when police are behind them, behind you when you're driving. Like, do you get paranoid that they're like stopping you or something, or like it makes you it makes you actively start driving better or like you pay more attention or i don't know it just does something to you to the way you think or the way you act like when there's police behind you when you're driving like specifically <laughs> i don't know let me know in the comments if anyone else acts like different when when you see a police car behind them when you're driving because that's quite an interesting one actually i'd like to know uh, if anyone else feels like that <laughs> okay i'm home now so i'll catch you back inside okay so i'm back home <laughs> i'm just gonna get tea started and do the rest of my tree i'll show you what i got i did get a few extra little bits so i got right instead of a star i got like a flower thing to put at the top of the tree instead just to change it up a bit. Uh, obviously you've seen the tinsel. It's not that good quality, but it'll do. <laughs> the other tree's got good quality tinsel on, so that'll uh, <laughs> that'll suffice. I also got a tree skirt. Obviously I've got one in the other on the other tree, but I wanted another one for this tree, just so you didn't see the metal bits. Um, Cause they're not very aesthetically pleasing. Do you know what I mean? And also, I wasn't supposed to buy these, but I just couldn't leave them because they're just dead cute and they go perfectly on my um, little shelf. I got two little gnomes to put either side of the uh, nutcracker. <laughs> I wonder if I can actually swap the camera around whilst I'm filming. Let's see. Oh, no. Once. No. I'm still figuring out how to use this gimbal. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Someone tell me if you've got the same one, can you switch the camera to the other front camera? And if so, how do you do it? Let me know. I wonder if it'd recognize the Nutcracker's face. No, it's still trying to find mine. Bloody hell. Technology, eh? My two little gnomes of my Nutcracker. Looks like we're just about ready for another time lapse. That's the best I could do. It um, it looks all right. It'll do. Got the tree skirt on. Got the uh, nice little flower on. I didn't really have enough tinsel, so I've kind of had to make do with what I had. But it's kind of covered the lights up that are already in the tree, which is a bit annoying, but it'll have to do. Let me know what you think. <laughs> So that's what it looks like with the um, the cool little red lights on. Very nice. They go all the way down at the bottom there. <sighs> There's all the crimbo presents. <laughs> I'm drinking some coconut water from Marks and Spencers. Um, apparently coconut water is really good for hydrating you, so give it a go because I need hydrating. <laughs> my lips are going dry because obviously it's winter time so I need to be drinking more water and that and I do like coconuts <laughs> oh god I need to clean the kitchen because things are getting in the way 
I got a little gift for James for Christmas. Well, a before Christmas gift. And it's Wonder Prints. Um, it's online if you want to check them out. But they do like personalised stuff. And I've seen this. <laughs> and I thought it was dead cute. So I uh, personalised it. And I'll show you. <laughs> of all the weird things I found online, you're by far my favourite. <laughs> and then there's my name, James's name. That's him with a bottle of Coke because he's always drinking buzzy bottles of Coke. And then there's me with like a latte cappuccino, buzzy frappuccino, whatever the hell I've got. Because um, I always have that with like cream on from Costa or something. So, yeah, you can personalise all the drinks and stuff that you put in the hand. You can personalise the headbands, the clothes. Um, but, yeah, it's a good little website. Definitely check it out. They give you different types of string to use. Yeah, that looks all right. <laughs> I suppose if you were to get one for someone, though, you could put it anywhere around your house, to be honest. It doesn't have to just be on your tree. So you could, like, hang it up there, maybe with the with whatever you want <laughs> i don't know <laughs> it's a good little gift idea though so yeah definitely check that website out it's tea time having chicken wings and some potatoes Just finished tea. The uh, little potatoes were well nice. I wanted, I wanted more. <laughs> I just wanted to show you these though because they're dead cute. I think they're from Home and Bargain or something. But you'll probably get them in other places as well. But little snowmen, snowmen marshmallow things. But you put them in your hot chocolate and you stir them round and then they get all melty and then you can eat them. But yeah, got a couple of them to uh, put with some nice hot chocolates for the nice winter season. Anyway, I think I'll probably end the vlog here because I kind of just did this vlog to test out my gimbal. I'm not gonna lie, and my gimbal's on charge now. So I'm just using my hand now. So you'll be able to see the difference of uh, quality through how I'm uh, recording it and stuff. And like, obviously I'm probably more shaky with my hand. Yeah, I'm just gonna eat this galaxy chocolate bar because I'm a fatty. And then I'm just gonna chill and I'll probably watch Breaking Bad with Jamesy Boy. Cause he's uh, he's got me onto it and I, I actually am enjoying it, <laughs> which I didn't expect to. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed and you wanna see more content. Bye.